Voyagers had been one of the most exciting and attention-grabbing spacecraft, and they had astounded everyone with their incredible discoveries. But something strange occurred in May 2022. Strange data began to be transmitted from Voyager 1 from the interstellar medium and the problem hasn't been fixed yet. So is this amazing spacecraft coming to an end? Will NASA be able to increase the battery life of its spacecraft long enough to collect any additional meaningful data from interstellar space? What will become next in our exploration of the universe? Four months after Star Wars made its debut in theaters on September 5, 1977, NASA launched the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Voyager 1 is the farthest distant artificially human-made object in existence, traveling at a speed of nearly 38,000 miles per hour and being close to 14.5 billion miles from Earth, according to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's live mission status page. But there's a problem now. Part of the data the probe sends back to Earth is incorrect, and as a result, NASA isn't sure which way the probe is pointing. NASA claims that the probe's position, articulation and controlling system are the problems. The engineers state that the AACS appears to be generally operating in accordance with expectations. But the information it's returning to Earth is false. For instance, some of the data seems to be generated carelessly. Assuring that the Voyager 1 high-gain antenna is directed towards Earth is one of the AACS's main responsibilities. The good news is that, based on the continued strength of the antenna signal, NASA believes that the antenna is still pointed in the right direction. Since it takes NASA two days to send a command to Voyager 1 and receive a response, it is only natural that a signal that is as strong as ever is somewhat hypothetical. Light travels between Earth and the probe in 20 hours and 33 minutes at its current distance from the planet. Now, if you're acquainted with the story of Star Trek, the motion picture, which came out two years after Voyager 1 was launched, you might feel a bit uneasy. You might be asking yourself, do you want huge space clouds that burn up spacecraft and then require a human sacrifice to end the slaughter? NASA, however, says that there is no current cause for concern that we may soon be subjected to the Enterprise's infamously long, unpleasant and embarrassing establishing shots. All things considered, Voyager 1 is actually performing better than anticipated. Voyager 1 and 2 project manager Suzanne Dodd at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noted, Voyager 1 and 2 both seem to be almost 45 years old, which is much beyond the mission planets anticipated. We are also in interstellar space, which is a highly radioactive region that has never been explored by a spacecraft. Therefore, the engineering team faces some significant obstacles. However, I believe that our team will discover a solution if there is one to this problem with the AACS. Dodd said that her team would be able to adjust to it if, in the worst case situation, they are unable to resolve the issue. The kinds of technologies that can function continuously on board are obviously constrained by the meager 4 watt of power that both spacecraft consume annually. To save energy for science equipment and vital systems, the mission engineering team has turned off a number of subsystems and heaters. The Voyager crew is trying to keep the two spacecraft running and provide unique scientific data after 2025. However, as of right now, the scientific instruments have been shut off. According to NASA, its engineers will keep on trying to figure out the mystery that Voyager 1 has thrown their way. Additionally, they reaffirmed that the mission scientists will keep maximizing the information obtained from the spacecraft's special vantage position.